We have been experiencing some of the hottest years on record over the past decade, signaling a clear long-term trend of global warming caused by greenhouse gas emissions. Because the years ahead, specifically 2023 and 2024, are set to shatter all previous temperature records, climate models are sounding the alarm, warning us to prepare for scorching temperatures like never before. Welcome to our channel! In today's video, we're going to discuss El Nino, which is the monster that could change the world. What's particularly concerning is the potential resurgence of El Nino, a phenomenon notorious for disrupting weather patterns worldwide. When combined with the escalating climate crisis, scientists predict a perfect storm that will catapult global temperatures to unprecedented levels, surpassing any records we have seen so far. As a result, countries such as the United States, Australia and Indonesia need to be ready to face the severe consequences that will inevitably follow. These include blistering heat waves, devastating wildfires, and the outbreak of diseases. The interaction between these factors will only amplify the already alarming impact of climate change on these nations. It's a critical situation that calls for urgent attention and action. Every two to seven years, something really interesting happens in the equatorial Pacific Ocean. It's called El Nino and La Nina. During these events, the ocean can get up to three degrees Celsius warmer or colder than usual and this sets off a chain reaction of effects that can be felt around the world. This phenomenon is the main reason why weather patterns vary from ear to ear in many regions. When La Lina occurs, the trade winds blowing east to west across the Pacific become stronger. This causes the warm surface waters to be pushed towards the western side of the ocean, while cooler water from deeper parts rises up on the eastern side. As a result, the eastern Pacific experiences a cooling effect. On the flip side, during El Nino, the winds that usually blow westward along the equator slow down. This allows warm water to be pushed towards the eastern side of the ocean, leading to higher surface temperatures there. And when the surface ocean temperatures rise, it contributes to an overall increase in global temperatures. It's truly amazing how these changes in the ocean can have such a big impact on weather patterns and climate conditions worldwide. That's why scientists must understand and keep an eye on these phenomena. By doing so, we can better predict and prepare for the effects they bring on a global scale. When El Nino occurs, the ocean exhibits a phenomenon reminiscent of steam rising from a pot of boiling pasta. It releases excessive heat and moisture into the atmosphere. The movement of warm water eastward in the Pacific Ocean directly influences weather patterns in various regions. In the northern United States, El Nino brings about drier and warmer weather, whereas the US Gulf Coast and Southwest experience heavy rainfall and flooding. In Europe, El Nino can result in colder and drier winters in the north and wetter winters in the south. Coupled with the ongoing trend of global warming, a robust El Nino can contribute approximately 0.2 degrees Celsius to the Earth's average temperature. This increase holds significant implications, potentially surpassing the critical limit of 1.5 degrees Celsius for global warming. Consequently, we can anticipate more intense heat waves, prolonged hot seasons, and more powerful storms. Considering that the planet has already warmed about approximately 1.2 degrees Celsius compared to pre-industrial times, the impact of an El Nino event becomes even more substantial. It is highly probable that at some point after the peak of the El Nino in 2024, the Earth's temperature will temporarily exceed the 1.5 degrees Celsius threshold. However, it is still premature to ascertain the precise strength of the upcoming El Nino event. The hottest year on record globally so far was 2016. That year, there was a powerful weather pattern called El Nino, which made it even hotter. But even in years without El Nino, climate change has caused extreme temperatures. In 2022, it was the fifth warmest year ever, and Europe had its hottest summer ever. Climate change also made rainfall heavier, causing terrible floods in Pakistan. And in February of that year, the ice in Antarctica reached the lowest level ever. Even though most of the big polluting countries promised to stop releasing greenhouse gases eventually, the amount of carbon dioxide in the air kept going up. In 2022, we put 41 billion tons of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. 37 billion tons came from burning fossil fuels like coal, oil and gas. Another 4 billion tons came from cutting down forests and other activities that change how land is used. Because of problems with getting natural gas from Russia, some countries started burning more coal which made the pollution worse. The main reason for the increase in pollution in 2022 was the use of fossil fuels in transportation, especially airplanes. That happened because economies were opening up again after the COVID-19 lockdowns. When El Nino and climate change work together, they can make things even worse. 
we can expect more heat waves, droughts, and wildfires. There might be another El Nino later this summer and a strong one towards the end of the year. That would make it even more likely that the temperature will go up by more than 1.5 degrees Celsius. It's important to know that the effects of El Nino are usually felt a few months after it happens, and it always doesn't make the whole world hotter. But as the climate keeps changing, the weird weather during an El Nino year will probably get even weirder. Some places like Australia are warming up faster than others. That means they'll have hotter and drier weather, more droughts, and a bigger risk of wildfires. The temperature has gone up by 4 degrees Celsius compared to the early 20th century. Every year, wildfires affect more and more of the continent because of a dry weather pattern caused by climate change. However, Australia has had three years in a row with more rain than usual because of a weather pattern called La Nina. This has caused serious floods, especially in the eastern part of the country. But now, scientists predict that an upcoming event called El Nino will bring different conditions. Less rain, hotter temperatures, and a higher risk of wildfires especially during winter and spring in the southern part of the world. Australia is even more vulnerable to El Nino because of the effects of climate change. Colombia is another country that's at risk during El Nino events. There is less rain and higher temperatures, and this can lead to outbreaks of diseases carried by insects like mosquitoes such as malaria and dengue fever. The hot temperatures make mosquitoes breed and bite more. The Amazon rainforest and other tropical forests in Africa, India, and Australia also suffer during El Nino. They become drier and plants don't grow as well. This means they can't absorb as much carbon dioxide from the air. El Nino affects other regions too. The monsoon season in India and the rainfall in southern Africa can be weakened. East Africa and the southern part of the United States, which have recently had severe droughts, may get more rain and experience flooding. El Nino can also affect places in the middle part of the Northern Hemisphere. For example, Spain might get more rain from summer onwards, while the eastern seaboard of the United States might get drier conditions. The biggest impact is expected in Northern Europe, where winters are predicted to become drier and colder. If global warming makes El Nino stronger in 2023 and 2024, there is a high chance of a very cold winter. Scientists think El Nino will have a stronger effect on the winter weather in the North Atlantic and Northern Europe. Besides causing extreme weather changes, El Nino also endangers marine life along the Pacific coast. Normally, cold and nutrient-rich water comes up from the depths of the ocean, but during El Nino, this process gets weaker or stops completely. This means there is less flood for certain fish because there are fewer tiny plants in the water. Warmer water temperatures also harm coral reefs and make them more likely to starve. Understanding how the climate works is like putting together a big puzzle. The oceans and the atmosphere interact with each other, creating a cycle. Scientists are still not completely sure how El Nino will act in the future, but climate change will probably make it effects worse in different parts of the world. We can now predict events like this months ahead of time just because of scientific progress. This shows the importance of being prepared, like having emergency services ready and planning crops strategically. One important question that remains unanswered is whether climate change will cause more El Nino or La Nina events. This knowledge is crucial for countries that want to plan for the long term and adapt to these changes. To find accurate answers, we need better climate models that have more details. This can only happen with advances in technology and more powerful computers. What do you think about the speed at which global warming is happening? Feel free to leave a comment below. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.